Welcome everyone, I hope you're all doing great. This is Lazar, I'm a Paris-based photographer and content creator. I do a POV street photography sessions. Uh, so today I'm going to challenge myself to shoot only in manual focus. And um, I'm used to uh, shooting autofocus with my XF35 F2, but today I took a manual lens and uh, I'm going to try to do that because um, Autofocus is not uh, that old. It, um, I think uh, the first uh, the technology technology appeared in the uh, uh, 80s, something uh, mid 80s or um, late 80s. I don't remember exactly. I'm gonna set my aperture to f8, which is uh, good because uh, it's very sunny, so no problem here. And I'm going to uh, focus. Uh, um, so. I'm cheating a little because I'm using the uh, focus peaking, uh, something that uh, didn't exist back in the days. So I'm using the uh, Nikon 28 2.8. It's an um, old lens. I don't know which uh, time. It's not the AIS, but uh, it works fine. It's not sharp, but. Uh, it has character. So here it's not really a problem focusing because uh, no one's moving. So I, if I had like a fast moving subject, say a, a kid, for example, with the erratic movements and uh, that would be a problem. So beautiful day feels like spring is coming. So I'm going to quote Henri Cartier-Bresson once more. And uh, he said that uh, the sharpness is a bourgeois concept. Um, I translated, but uh, I think uh, what he meant is, uh, I, well, I would go on a limb here, but uh, I, I think what he meant is, uh, if your picture is good, uh, even if it's not perfectly sharp, it works. And we try to do some um, pre-focus. So, for example, if I like a surrounding and uh, I can pre-focus, for example, uh, on the zebras of the street. So the good thing with the mirrorless cameras is uh, that you uh, have the peaking, of course, but also you can uh, pinch in the image to a certain degree to check the focus. Tout cela aurait pu être évité si le PCC n'avait pas dissimulé la vérité. Mais c'est ce qu'il dit dans le jour de nos images qui chinois qui vise à détruire les économies, les valeurs universelles et à se nourrir la propriété. So right now I'm playing it safe because with the um, With the focus peaking and the uh, the F8 and not shooting uh, fast moving subjects, so the pictures they will be like uh, supposedly sharp. Okay, I'm going gonna go for a 2.8, so wide open. So here we have some uh, moving subjects. Okay. 
I have a, a perfect street photography picture in mind and uh, actually I have one painting and one street photography. The, the, the photograph is from uh, Harry Callahan and uh, the, um, the painting is from Baltus and uh, so I'll display them here and uh, for me that's, uh, that's the kind of street photography that I'm uh, aiming to. See how much better it is to have the the action cam on the on the camera itself. I'm congratulating myself. People must think I'm crazy here, walking uh, by my uh, walking by me. I think I should put like uh, headphones so I can pretend I'm talking to a friend. All right, more peaceful here. Let me open the, uh, the aperture to 2.8. Ventilation. <laughs> Okay, let's shoot some frame within the frame. It's one of my favorite techniques. Actually, I'm preparing a, a video session with a, regarding this uh, technique. The thing here, the, um, the design of the Louvre is, uh, is very dense with a lot of details. So uh, if you want to uh, shoot a subject in front of it, you need to detach it. And uh, today it's not really easy. Usually you can detach it with, uh, with of course, the depth of field, the uh, shallow depth of field. But when you're shooting wide, it's uh, more difficult. and. Um, you can detach by color. And uh, yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. So this little girl was uh, dressed uh, with vivid colors. So she should uh, stand out from the background. So thank you all for sticking by to the end. And uh, I'll let you with a slideshow of the uh, quote-unquote okay pictures see you guys <laughs>